In this illustration, uh, we'll study about the maximum range of a projectile which is thrown from a tower. We are given that from top of a tower of height h, a ball is thrown at a speed u. We are required to find the angle of projection at which the range of ball on ground is maximum. And if we draw the situation, it is like this on ground from a tower of height h, a ball is thrown with the speed uh, u at an angle theta. It follows the trajectory and finally hit the ground. See, this range is r. So, we are required to find this value of theta for which the value of r is maximum. So, here uh, we can use equation of trajectory where we use this direction as x axis and vertically upward as y axis with the initial point as origin. So, trajectory equation is y is equals to x tan theta minus gx square by 2u square cos square theta. So, here uh, we can see if we substitute the y is equals to minus h, we get the range as r. So, this point will be having coordinates r comma minus h. So, here we can write minus h is equals to r tan theta minus g r square by 2u square cos square theta. In this expression, uh, we can write for maximum r, the value of dr by d theta should be equals to 0. So, if we differentiate it, uh, this left hand side becomes 0 and right hand side here, uh, if we differentiate it, this will become tan theta multiplied by dr by d theta plus r sec square theta. Here, I have differentiated this term by using product rule minus here also I can use uh, g r square by 2 square sec square theta. So, I can take g r square by 2 u square and sec square theta when we differentiate this will give us 2 sec theta multiplied by sec theta tan theta and further minus uh, we can differentiate this r square. So, this will be g by 2 u square sec square theta multiplied by we can write it 2 r dr by d theta. So, this is the expression we are getting after differentiating and as if we put dr by d theta equal to 0, this term and this term will vanish and here we are getting r sec square theta is equals to g r square by 2 u square multiplied by 2 sec square theta tan theta. Here 1 r again gets cancelled out, 2 also gets cancelled out and the sec square theta will also get cancelled out and we keep in mind that r cannot be 0, sec square theta cannot be 0. So, from here we are getting the value of r is equals to u square by g tan theta. So, in this situation, if we substitute the value in equation 1, we can see from uh, equation 1, we are getting this as minus h is equals to, if we substitute the value of r as u square by g tan theta, here tan theta gets cancelled out, this u square by g minus this uh, g by 2 u square cos square theta multiplied by r square. So, if we square it, this will be u to power 4 by g square, 10 square theta can be written as sin square theta by cos square theta. So, here 1 g gets cancelled out, cos square theta gets cancelled out and 1 u square also gets cancelled out. So, the result we are getting after simplification is u square by g minus h is equals to u square by 2g sin square theta. So, on simplifying this, we are getting the value of sin theta is equals to root of uh, u square by twice of u square minus gh or the value of theta we are getting here is sin inverse of root of u square by twice of u square minus gh. This is the final result of our problem the angle at which when the ball is to be projected from this point so that the maximum range on ground is obtained.